Welcome back to the Wendy's Tournament Tip-Off Show, presented by your local pick-and-save stores. I'm Mike McGivern, alongside Coach Sid from St. Francis. So, Coach, we're going to start breaking down the, the, the brackets, and we're going to start with Division 5. And I, I can tell you that looking at the first game that's going to air Friday, uh, tomorrow night, or tomorrow, tomorrow morning, excuse me, at 9.05 a.m. right here on My24, Argyle Pentaconet is going to play Albany Monticello. And it's the third time they've played. And the question that I have about that matchup, really quality programs, um, they're in the same conference, in the uh, Six Rivers East Conference. And it's interesting to me that they were separated in different sectionals in Division 5. That doesn't surprise me when you get to Division 1 or 2. But Division 5, because I know the WI a lot of times is worried about travel, but they had Heritage Christian go an hour and a half up and, and, and moved um, one of them into a whole different sectional. And now from the same conference, team that took first in the conference and the team that took second in the conference are playing against each other again at 9.05 tomorrow morning. I, I see that Argyle Pecatonica had two wins over Albany Monticello. Should be a good game, those two. It, it, it'd be a great game. I mean, I'm just wondering, you, you don't see two teams from the same conference, especially in Division Five or Div Division Four, because of the travel time. And, um, you know, I certainly congratulate the, the coaches and the staffs from both of those schools. And it should be a good game. I know that Argyle won both of the matchups. And um, it's tough to beat a team three times. They, that's, that's what they say, but um, Argyle's... Pat Katonic has got some firepower, uh, a young coach, very, very into it. Um, should be a good one. You know, that the, the Argyle team has their leading score as a sophomore, second leading score as a freshman, and they've got a couple of seniors after that averaging uh, single digits. But uh, Kylie Butler is averaging 23 a game, and she's a five foot seven and sophomore. And uh, Brooke Wellness is a 5'10 freshman, averaging over, over 16 a game. And so the, the future is awfully bright for that program. And Jen Wellness, uh, the sister to the young lady, is, right. is the coach. She played at Green Bay. Um, Kylie Butler's sisters played at Green Bay. There's a tie back to the Blackhawk teams that were um, dominant in Division Five. Um, that, that yeah, that's that's a tough one. But uh, three times is tough. Twenty six game winning streak, and they ended um, ranked number one in the final uh, with sports uh, coaches poll. And uh, we'll get to predictions later in the show, but I think that that's going to be a team that, that we're probably both going to predict maybe gets to the finals. On the other side, Clear Lake against Lena. Uh, Lena was ranked ninth in the final poll, 27-2 overall. Uh, took first place 15-1 in the Marinette Acano Conference. And when you look at their team, they are led by some young girls as well. A junior, um, Eva Brooks, is averaging 20 a game. And then a sophomore, Madeline Thomas Thompson, is a 5'10 sophomore, averaging 15 a game. What, what we're seeing, especially in, in Division Five and Division Four, boy, there's a lot of young girls. And I think that, that kind of leads into what we had talked about earlier uh, in the show, that, that girls, some girls are, are playing year-round and really – um, getting to a different level than I think we saw 10 years ago. Definitely. I, be, I believe Clear Lake starts three or four seniors, so that they have a little bit of experience. Um, but Brooks is a really, and Thompson are two really good players for Lena. They are. When you, let's move over, if we can, to Division Four. And when, when we talked a little bit earlier, you said, look, there is some talent in every division. Uh, division Four is, is, is loaded with it. Um, let's, let's start, if we can, on uh, tonight, in fact, at 635 in Division Four, the first game is Laconia against the Prairie School in Racine. And uh, Laconia is a team that defending Division Four state champs, they're a runner-up in 2022. When we talked about teams that have been there before, they know where the locker room is, they know where the bus is going to park. Uh, there's a comfort level, and when you have a team like the Prairie School, you just want to get there and, and get these kids really feeling comfortable where they where where they are, what the gym looks like. Um, I, I think when when you have somebody like Laconia who was again ranked number one throughout the the, the year in Division Four, that's going to be a tough out. These two teams have met before. Um, Laconia was a 19-point winner, but uh, Prairie was missing Decker, who um, 
is a double-digit score and I believe averages about five assists a game for him. So could be a different game. Two very good teams. Yeah, really good teams. The other game that will start 15 minutes uh, after the Prairie School in Laconia play, Cuba City and Mac uh, McDonald Catholic. You know, a Cuba City girls program is incredible. 14-0 in, in the Swall uh, Conference. They were first in their conference. They are riding an 18-game winning streak. They are ranked number six in the final uh, coaches poll. But that team has had just a history of really talented basketball players. I believe they got... 10 gold balls under Coach Pustina. Uh, tradition, Olsen's an outstanding player. McDonald Central's def defending Division Five champs. The two Cooper kids are really good. One's going Division Two, the older one, and the younger, I think, will end up D1. She's, she's tiny, but I went against her a couple of times this summer, and there was no answer for her. Yeah, McDonald Central, 13-1 uh, in the Clover Belt Conference, in the Clover Belt West Conference. They took first place in that conference. Their father is their coach, right, Don Cooper. And I've had a chance to coach my son. That's a whole different dynamic when you get home. And uh, they're 26-2 and two and an awfully good team, obviously. Should be a good one, too. That's a great division. Some people think that's the most competitive division. Yeah, there's a number of people that think that, that the two games that we're going to see in Division Four are going to be as competitive as any of them. And, and I love the fact, you know, we're talking about smaller schools, Division Five, Division Four, and the whole community comes out for that. Guys, we're going to get to a break. Other side of the break, we're going to break down Division Three, And in uh, and, and all these divisions, some really talented players and coaches and programs in Division Three. He is Mike Solowski, the head coach at St. Francis. I'm Mike McGivern. This is the Wendy's Girls Tournament Tip-Off Show presented by your local pick-and-save stores only on My24.